Good morning, Prabhaini, and congratulations. You are the winner of the 2011 New Venture Contest for Alumni. Thanks very much, Harry. I appreciate that. It's great to, great to have you here this morning. So please tell me uh, your full name, your class year, and the name of your business, and a brief explanation of what it's all about. Sure. Uh, so I am Prabhahini Bradu, MBA class of 2008, and the company that I'm here to represent is Biomine. Mm -hmm. um, so Biomine is a, is a venture whose vision is to extract valuable metals and rare earth elements from discarded electronics. Mm -hmm. And when you consider the fact that there is 40 million tons of electronics that are discarded every year, um, and the 40 million tons of electronics contain $70 billion worth of uh, precious and base metals. It kind of becomes a no-brainer that that's something that should be mined as opposed to wasted. How did this idea come about to you and your team? Sure. So actually the idea was the brainchild of my co-founder who I really wish was here. To, so if he's watching, this is as much out to you, Bryce. But Bryce Goodman, uh, my co-founder in this, he, you know, over six months ago, sort of asked the fundamental question that you've got e-waste, um, which is essentially anything that's discarded as electronics, be it your iPhone or your computer. Um, well, first of all, you've got um, just as innovation accelerates and technology accelerates with Moore's law, one of the or two of the impending paradigms that you're left with is on one hand you've got um, an excessive creation of e-waste. So there is an equally exponential increase in the obsolescence as a result of um, an increase in an acceleration in technology. And on the other side, you've got a critical shortage of the materials, the base metals, the precious metals, the rare earth elements that go into making these um, technologies flourish. So, you know, Bryce, as I said over six months ago, asked the fundamental question, well, you've got this really concentrated source of metals in discarded electronics. Why isn't this being accessed to its full potential today? And more importantly, and this is you know one of the key aspects of Biomine's innovation, why can't you use existing mining technologies to mine e-waste? So as opposed to seeing it as a waste that needs to be recycled, it's actually an ore that needs to be mined. Looking down the road, when or what will indicate to you that uh, this is really a successful enterprise and you can pat yourself on the back? Um, I actually think we've, we've hit the first milestone on that, uh, mm -hmm. which is I think we've got an incredible team, a, a very, very passionate team. I, mean, I, I think that's a part, as in a startup, that's what you want and that's what you love most. So there's, as I said, Bryce, my co-founder, he's been fantastic and, and just a huge inspiration um, in, in getting this going. And then we've got Paolo Paparini, who um, brings a tremendous set of experiences in the supply and logistics side of things. He himself sort of ran Metal's logistic business and sold that for about $200 million. Um, and he's sort of heading up our logistics and supply chain for now. And um, we've got Claudia Vichen, who's been helping us on the operations side. And we've um, had people, Luca Escofia, Justin Pahara, who've been you know, really helpful in, in sort of the, just by being involved. So we've had a fantastic team to take this forward. So I'd say that's been our first milestone of success. Mm -hmm. um, I think the next milestone would be really getting the pilots off the ground and being able to showcase to people that you know this is not just a vision and a, and a great idea um, this is something that you know we believed would work because we're taking existing scaled up mining technologies but now you can see it for yourself um, and then finally it's you know it's actually being able to see a computer or a, a smartphone going at one end and <laughs> and, and see your uh, your metals come out the other, I think. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's, you know, the proof of the pudding is in the eating. Okay.